Step 1. Identify a data source. After some not so extensive Google searching, I'm able to find that LeetCode does in fact have a publicly accessible API. I'm eventually led to a page showing raw JSON data for problems in the category of algorithm. My assumption is that this category includes all problems, but why not take a wild guess? Nice. I can be sure that I'm getting all of the problems and their corresponding data by slightly adjusting the URL path, but there's a problem. This data doesn't include frequency for any of the problems which I need to meaningfully sort the data. I'm going to need to bite the bullet and pay for LeetCode Premium. This is going to hurt. After hopelessly searching Google for promo codes to mitigate the steep price point for just one month of membership, I finally give up and do what needs to be done. You're welcome. At this point, the frequency should be included in the data. Looks good to me. Now it's time to get this data out of the disgusting browser interface and into a beautiful dark and lonely shell. We can use curl to fetch the data from the command line. But there's another problem. This is generic data and doesn't include my user session, which in turn doesn't include my premium perks. Back to the disgusting browser. Open up the inspector and navigate to the network tab. Let's see what the request looks like. Beautiful. Looks like the cookie header includes a CSRF token and some session data. I'll extract these headers and use the cookie header for the curl request. Throw these into a file and reference that file in the request. Looks like I'm in business. Send the output to a JSON file. Open it up and have a look. Format using Prettier. Confirm the frequency data. So it actually seems that the frequency data actually isn't the data that represents frequency. Weird. The progress data is what represents frequency. For example, this problem, the problem with front end question ID, aka external ID 2065, has progress set to 15.92, which is the same data used as its frequency in the front end. Strange, but moving on. Now to decide on the programming language to use to work with this data. I'm in a hurry, and when I'm in a hurry, Python is my weapon of choice. I'll quickly create a dir in a virtual environment, start the virtual environment, install some dependencies, and we're ready for business. I should be able to open the file containing all of the problem data as well as parse it into a Python object in just a few lines of code. And just like that I now have complete and utterly unadulterated power over this data. Next I need to find a way to sort this data based on common patterns like BFS, two pointers, etc. But sadly, this info isn't available in our current data. This is a long shot, but I heard a rumor that there's a leak code command line utility that allows you to sort data using tags like companies and patterns. If I can find it, I can have a peek at their code and see how they're interfacing with the leak code's API in such a way. After some not so extensive Google searching, I land on this rumored repository. Shout out to the leak code CLI. Clone the repository. Now it's time to search the code. This is made trivial by one of my favorite command line utilities, ripgrep. Shout out burnt sushi. When searching repositories, I find that it's convenient to use ripgrep within bin. Search the files using keyword tag. After some searching, I find that there's a file in the directory called commands with the name list.js. I'm no genius, but I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that that file contains the code for listing problems. How convenient. There are examples that show the usage of the T flag which includes using it to filter problems with the name stack. But there's a disclaimer, requires plugin, Murphy's Law. Now to figure out how to use plugins, access the documentation from the repository, go to the installation tab. Maybe install all in one from source includes plugins. I need to run the binary called pkg in the bin directory of the project.
After some years, it looks like that finished installing. There's a plugin called Company. Maybe I can save some time by just using the magical rip grab. This looks promising. Search for a file called company.js. Jackpot. Open the file. And the mother log. It looks like whoever wrote this code matched the companies and other tags to the external problem IDs. Easy peasy. There's only data for 750 or so problems. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Besides, I think this is enough data to determine the most frequently seen patterns. Cat this data into a .py file and make some minor modifications. Continue coding the Python script. Why use Python? The Python extended library provides an extensive set of tools that makes handling most common tasks achievable in just a few lines of code. Within this script, I'll need to open the file containing the problem data, parse the data into a Python object, and set a minimum frequency as well as exclude unwanted tags from the frequency list. At the end of all of this, I'll have an understanding of the top patterns worth focusing on. The feeling never gets old.